And turning now to former President Ma Ying-jeou, who is halfway through his 12-day China tour. Ma had a meeting with China's Taiwan Affairs Office Director Song Tao on Thursday. Taking center stage was the 1992 Consensus, a framework for cross-strait relations that Ma used during his tenure. During the meeting, Ma brought up the term again and again, but he didn't once mention its familiar definition, that of one China, different interpretations. Back in Taiwan, Premier Chen Jianren said it was clear that China had already changed the definition to leave no room for ambiguity and allow only for unification. Former President Ma Ying-jeou met China's Taiwan Affairs Chief Song Tao on Thursday. Ma sent his greetings to Xi Jinping and recalled their encounter in 2015. Mr. Xi and I underscored the importance of the 1992 consensus. With the 1992 consensus, the two sides of the strait can set aside disputes and create a mutually beneficial relationship. Ma also touted the cross-strait policies of his administration. Cross-strait talks resumed, and we signed 23 agreements. There were meetings between the heads of cross-strait affairs, and there were meetings with the leaders of both sides. The two sides established an historic model for peacefully resolving difficult issues. Mr. Ma ying cares for our peoples and firmly believes in the revitalization of China. On the political foundation of adhering to the 1992 consensus and opposing Taiwan independence, he has promoted the peaceful development of cross-strait ties to benefit people on both sides of the strait. The 1992 consensus was brought up five times as Ma and Song echoed one another. But Ma did not mention the KMT's definition of the term, which allows for different interpretations of one China. Over in Taiwan, Premier Chen Jianren had this to say. China has already reformulated the 1992 consensus, defining it as one China and one country, two systems. That's a definition the people of Taiwan cannot accept. I hope that President Ma can understand that the consensus in Taiwan is that Taiwan is a sovereign and independent country. The premier urged Ma to listen to the people of Taiwan. Earlier during his China tour, Ma visited a COVID-19 exhibition where he praised China's management of the outbreak. Ma Ying-jeou was referring to the mainland's approach. Their economy came to a halt so that the virus wouldn't spread. So I think it's not wrong in the slightest to thank the government of the mainland for that, for all they've done for humankind. To use a popular term now, I'm shook that they would say such a thing. Now, even the WHO chief is asking China to shed some light on the situation and to allow an international probe into the matter. Ma ying is the only person to praise their management after visiting Wuhan. Ma is only halfway through his 12-day China visit, but the controversies are already piling up.